welcome to another instructional snippet. In this snippet, we will be reviewing how pressure waves reflect off large tanks and dead ends. Hope you find it informative. Shown as a pressure wave traveling from left to right. In this snippet, all expressions of pressure will be in head since it is often convenient to perform pipeline hydraulic calculations using piezometric head. The Joukowsky equation is the jump condition for a pressure head wave. It connects the conditions before and after the wave. It is shown using delta head and volumetric flow rate. If you are not familiar with the Joukowsky equation, I have another instructional snippet that derives it from first principles. Let's start with how a wave reflects off a large tank. Shown is an incoming wave denoted as delta H1 prior to it impacting the large tank. Note that the head after the wave is the original head plus the magnitude of delta H1. The flow after the wave is denoted by Q1. H0 and Q0 are the head and flow in front of the wave. Key to understanding the reflective wave is that the tank is large enough to not be affected by the incoming wave. In this drawing that results in a constant head denoted as HFG adjacent to the reservoir. There will be a friction loss due to the transition from the pipe to the tank and that loss will act to attenuate the incoming wave and have an impact on the magnitude of the reflective wave. The physics governing the reflective wave remains unchanged. In this snippet, we will ignore the impact of these frictional losses. Shown are the conditions after the wave reflects off the large tank. The reflective wave, denoted as delta H2, is traveling from right to left. The head adjacent to the tank remains constant at the head of the tank, denoted as HFG. It is also equal to the pre-wave head plus delta H1 and delta H2. Now let's put it all together. Since the head adjacent to the tank remains constant, the reflective wave, delta H2, must be equal in magnitude but of opposite sign as the incoming wave, delta H1. In other words, waves reflect negatively off of a large tank or fixed grade. Let's substitute in some numbers to add clarity. In this example, the initial flow, Q0, is 0. The fixed grade head is 20. The incoming wave is positive and has a magnitude of 200. The resulting flow behind the wave is 0.5. The wave reflects negatively off of the tank with a value of minus 200. The resulting velocity behind the reflected wave is 1.0. Now let's look at a wave reflection off of a dead end. Key to understanding the reflection from a dead end is that the velocity at the dead end remains zero. Note that if pressures reach vapor pressures, then vapor cavities will form and may result in some wacky flow directions. We will not be accounting for cavitation in this snippet. The reflected wave, denoted as delta H2, is shown traveling from right to left. Key to understanding the reflective wave is that the flow adjacent to the dead end remains zero. The Joukowsky equation relates the conditions before and after the reflected wave. Now let's bring it all together. You will notice that the right hand side of the Joukowsky equation for the incoming wave, delta H1, is identical to the right hand side of the Joukowsky equation for the reflective wave, delta H2. The reflective wave is identical in sign and magnitude of the incoming wave. In other words, a wave reflects positively off of a dead end. Let's add some numbers to provide some additional clarity. The initial head is 20, the incoming wave is positive 200. The flow behind the incoming wave, Q1, is 0.5. The head behind the incoming wave is 200 plus 20, or 220. The incoming wave reflects off of the dead end with a value of positive 200. The flow behind the reflective wave remains zero. The head behind the reflective wave is the original head with the incoming and reflected waves added. In this example, the head behind the reflected wave is 420. It is evident that waves reflecting off dead ends or shut valves can result in high pressures. Be aware that in this example we used an incoming wave of positive 200. If the incoming wave was negative, it would reflect negative, thus lowering the pressure head by twice the magnitude of the incoming negative wave. This can often result in formation of a cavity. Cavity formation and subsequent collapse can generate very high pressures, but this is beyond the scope of this instructional snippet. 
I hope you found this instructional snippet informative. If so, please like and subscribe. Thanks and have a great day.